Welcome to part four of my 1968 Volvo 145 project. In part one, we covered the car's purchase and its history. In part two, we did a tour of the inside and the outside of the car. And in part three, we removed the roof rack. Today, we're gonna to be doing a little bit of prep work before a wash and a polish. So I can't easily roll this thing outside to get it washed because, well, first of all, it's been cold. It keeps dipping below freezing. So I don't want to, to pull out the garden hose and the pressure washer. And it's really windy today, and these two tires don't hold air, like at all. Um, they're off the bead, so new tires are supposed to show up on Friday at the local tire shop, and I'll be able to get those on and roll it out. So in the meantime, I think I'm going to do uh, a sponge bath with the car in here. Um, I know it's not going to really do the job super well, but with a wet sponge, I should be able to get a lot of this. Uh, these lenses are were off already. I'm going to start working on taking the rest of them off, these ones and these ones, then the, the back one way over there so that uh, I can get the, the paint behind there. I'm not going to take the bumpers off. I'm not going to take the, well, I might take off the grill. No, I'll leave it there. And um, later when I actually pressure wash the car, I'll take that off. But yeah, I'm just going to pretty much clear enough space for me to get a sponge all around this, all these black specks. Yeah, it's really etched into the paint, so, and, and the paint's bad, I'm not too worried about ruining it. But in one spot here, you know, I just buff through and the paint is uh, gonna be a completely different color once I'm done with it. So we'll see. These reflectors on the 140s are pretty big, but what's crazy is there's nothing that's actually behind it. It's just like a, safety reflector, so if we finish taking this off, it's broken anyway. Yeah, that's all it is. So there's no light. I think maybe foreign market cars had lights on them. I'm not too sure there, but I think I'll probably just leave these off. For getting the outside clean, I plan on using a sponge and some Dawn dish soap and water. Chemical Guys Waterless Car Wash, McGuire's Ultimate Compound, New Finish Car Polish, and a bunch of adhesive remover. So the side trim's off. Not the trim trim, but like the reflectors, those are off. The roof rack has been removed. The IPD drain plugs are in there just for now. Um, and I've started spraying a lot of this with uh, like a pre-wash for cars. So I also took off the grill so I could clean that separately. Basically what I'm going to do is I filled up this bucket with dish soap and water. I'm gonna try and get all this moss off before I do a, a proper like wipe off and then clay bar, polish wax, etc. So I'll uh, set you up for a time lapse and we'll see how it goes. Here's an exterior update. So you can see most of the paint has this streaky gunk all over it, especially through there. And I have not done the front yet, so that's all still covered in yucky stuff. But on the hood, you can tell I worked on it some. Not been done there, it's been done there. Still looks bad, but it's a lot smoother. And then this side is now complete paint-wise. I have not done anything with the wheels or the glass or the chrome just the paint and this is nothing more than just sponging off the gunk on the paint you can see up there you can see a little bit of a reflection you can really see the difference up top full square right here i haven't done but the rest of that i've wiped off with a sponge actually I take that back it's all the way up there um, that side just wasn't as bad because the roof rack was covering part of it but you can see the contrast right there for sure I'm glad the paint wasn't completely worn through up there. I kind of expected it to be a big primer spot like over here. So I guess I lucked out. Either way, I'm gonna keep going. Progress is very, very slow and it's been hard getting all of this off, but I think in the end it'll, it'll look really nice.
All of the moss and dirt's been scrubbed off the car. I haven't removed any stickers, so I'm not too sure if I'm actually going to remove those or if I'm gonna leave them as a monumento to how it was. Not too sure yet. It turned out okay. I'm gonna go over it now with clay bar to see if the clay will help at all. But this paint was sitting for so long and had that debris on it for so long that bringing it back to like new condition is gonna be very tough. But hey, this is just with a sponge and some dish soap. I haven't even uh, done a clay bar polish or wax yet, so I guess we'll see. Well, the clay bar didn't really do much. You can see I did that little portion there, but the problem is I did that for over 20 minutes with little success. So I went straight to polishing. I'm using the Meguiar's Ultimate Cutting Compound. And check that out. I am I'm very impressed because the camera doesn't show it very well, but in person, I only did this rectangle here. It looks really good, like really good. So once the whole car is done and then I clean up the glass and then I get those new tires on, redo the wheels, it's gonna be looking pretty good. A lot better than it did. Wow, yeah, I'm gonna take a time lapse because that, that's totally awesome. Man, this hood is really far gone. Unpolished, polished. It's just so scratched and pitted that uh, I think a uh, wet sand might be needed to get this back to shiny, but that's okay. I knew it was a risk. Better than that though. Well, just the day before yesterday, it was uh, warm and sunny, but now it's snowing. Anyway, Wanted to open up the garage door and see how the Volvo turned out. Now that it's morning time, I, I got to clean up my mess. But it's not terrible. Some panels definitely turned out better than other panels. I think this back corner panel was best. The roof has a lot to be desired. These spots here, I mean, I can't even get it up with my nail. So it's, uh, it's caked on there pretty tight. So not too sure what all I'm gonna do. Have to figure that out. <laughs> 